is our duty to see that these young men and young women that are coming up under our care know the Lord, encouraged to walk strong in the Lord, and are given the tools in order to do that. Too many times in this day and age, we uh, trust that the preacher on Sunday is going to be enough to raise our children in the things that they should go, so when they're old, they will not depart from it. Too often we think that they'll just absorb it by osmosis, and hopefully they'll turn out to be a good person. But according to the Bible in Deuteronomy chapter 6, it is our responsibility to train up our children, to teach them the word of God as they sit around the table. The Bible says to train up a child in the way that they should go, so when they're old, they will not depart from it. And church, one of the areas that we are sorely lacking in, but we are purposing to do something about it, is in the area of raising up our young men to be young men. We have too often turned our, our children over to the culture of this world and for some reason are shocked and surprised when they fall short of attaining the level of righteousness that we would hope as they walk in the Lord or even watch them turn away from Christ altogether. But in this house, we will serve the Lord and we will ensure that these young men will be raised up in the way that they should go, so they become just that, young men. It's been said that you're born a male, but God makes you a man. So we at Legacy Family Church, through the Legacy Men's Ministry, created Boys to Manhood, a program designed to give young men the tools necessary to live a godly life and walk out authentic, godly manhood. Not only did they receive the spiritual training through the scriptures, through the sharpening of one another, through time spent in the word, time spent in discussion, but also the practical skills, what it is to be a man, how to change a tire, how to tie a tie, how to write a budget, how to do some of these things that we fail to, to teach our sons, and certainly we cannot rely on the school system to do that for us. So there are nine young men that have graduated from this first program. I'd like to present to you, church, the Boys to Manhood graduates. Young men, would you stand and come just behind here? Shoulder to shoulder, gentlemen. Each of these young men went through eight weeks of intense biblical training, getting together every Sunday for four hours to go through the scriptures, to go over different topics, and discover the characteristics that make a male a man of God. Characteristics like humility, servanthood, courage, boldness, compassion, humility. And during this time, they were poured into by their fathers and mentors who showed them not only the scriptures, but a model of how to live and how to walk out authentic godly manhood. They endured scorching heat. They endured underneath cars, changing oil, all types of activities. Yesterday was their commencement, our closing ceremony. And on that day, they had to prove themselves as a rite of passage. They had an intense written test that I designed myself personally <laughs> to make sure that they had not only absorbed the facts, but were able to comprehend and properly apply the Word of God in their lives. They went through practical skills training. Everything from making sure they knew how to tie a tie, to making sure they knew how to be clean cut, clean nails, good hygiene, praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> how to work with tools. Can you saw through that board? You know how to drive a nail. You know how to use some power tools. You know how to fix some things around the house. What about etiquette? Do you know how to treat God's daughters with respect? Honoring them as daughters of the Lord with all purity. How many push-ups can you do in 60 seconds? 
How many crunches can you do? How many jump squats can you do? Do you know how to defend yourself? They were taught self-defense so they can protect themselves, protect their families as the Lord instructs. They went through all this training, all this testing, and came out shining as gold. So we wanted to present them before you today, now no longer as boys, but as young men. And as we have charged them to conduct themselves as young men, as a congregation, we charge you to treat them as young men, not just in the level of respect that you give them, but the level of what you expect from them. They are still on their journey. They are not men yet. They are young men on their way. And this is acknowledgement of their path, an acknowledgement of their intention. So I would like to call each of them and give them their certificate of completion, having passed all the tests, which I graded last night, <laughs> late into the night, <laughs> reading all their essays and answers, which I was so impressed with, so impressed with these young men. So, if you would all please do not hold your applause to the end. Go wild every single time I call a name, please. Yeah. First, Stefan Bernard Jackson. Justice Demetrius Bailey. <laughs> Zamir Israel Jacobs. <laughs> Michael Antonio Arceo Davis. Brandon Antonio Diaz. Hunter Thomas Allred. Quincy Jean Miller. Where's the air horn when you need one? <laughs> Julian Emmanuel Goggins. <laughs> Last but certainly not least at all, Luke Olivier Fernald. Gentlemen, welcome to young manhood. I encourage you to remember the things that you were taught and not just hold them in your head, but hide them in your heart. Our prayer for you is that you would walk out these truths to their fullness and every step of the way discover more and more of who you are in the Lord Jesus Christ. Our prayer is that you would become the young men that you've been called and destined to be and far exceed your fathers in all that you do. Church, would you join me in prayer? But before we do that, I'd like to invite Pastor Trey and all the fathers and mentors down so we can lay hands and pray. I'd also like to invo invite the teachers who help teach in those classes. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. 
Gracious and Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for these young men, Lord God, who have answered the call to manhood. Father, we thank you that as they have purposed in their heart to be disciplined in pursuing godly manhood, nurturing their relationship with you, and holding fast to their commitment to purity, I thank you, Lord, that your Holy Spirit is in agreement with all those things and that you will endow them with power, Lord God, to walk out this Christian life. I thank you, Lord, that no weapon formed against them would prosper, Lord God, and they would take heed to your word and hide it in their hearts so that they would not sin against you. I thank you, Lord God, that they, they listen to the instruction of the Apostle Paul to Timothy and they flee youthful lusts, Lord God, serving as an example to all, Lord God, in purity and love and faith and holiness and servanthood, Father. I thank you, Lord God, as they continue to grow, Lord God, that they will gain in favor with both man and you, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that you will... You are going to continue to expose and increase all of their giftings, Lord God, so that they can fulfill their call, purpose, and destiny, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, that they approach life with passion and fervor, Lord God, never backing down, always advancing. I thank you, Lord God, that these are young men who ex not just accept responsibility, Lord God, but they pursue responsibility. I thank you, Lord God, that these are young men that uh, follow you wholeheartedly, Lord God, that sacrifice, Lord God, willingly, that look out for the weak, protect those who cannot protect themselves. I thank you, Lord God, that you have given them great wisdom and knowledge and understanding and that it will increase, Lord God, so they can affect change in their communities, in this culture, in this nation. I thank you, Lord God, that you have bestowed upon each of them leadership, Lord God, strength to do what they have been called to do, courage, Lord God, to take heed to your word and to follow it all the days of their life. Father, I thank you that as they continue on this path and this process, that they are not alone. Not only do they have their fathers and mentors around them, this church, but Father, I pray that they would have a deep relationship with your Holy Spirit so that whether they are in the presence of their mentors or not, they are in the presence of their Heavenly Father, always listening and hearing the instruction of their commander-in-chief. We thank you for these warriors. We thank you for these mighty arrows, Lord God. Yes. Father, we thank you that you would bless us as fathers and mentors. Grant us the strength, the patience, and understanding to draw back that bow and hold it steady, aiming them in the right direction, and at the appropriate time, release them straight into the heart of their destiny. Yes. I pray, Lord, that they would fly far, straight, and true, yes. and hit their mark, Father. We will need your strength to pour into them. And it is our earnest prayer, Lord God, that they will go farther and do even greater things than those who taught them. We thank you. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.